We've been preaching on it all week long, Amen. the events that Jesus transpired. Amen. Amen. Father, we do praise you. We do thank you. We do glorify you. And we do magnify you. We thank you for who you are, for your God alone and your God victorious. Thank you, Father, for dying for us. Thank you for ascending for us back into heaven. And God, we ask you now in the name of Jesus, hide James behind thy cross. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be holy and acceptable in thy sight. For thou art my rock and my redeemer. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And we want to continue with the series, Let's Get Ready to Rumble, Part 7. Amen? Amen. Amen. Jesus heard Pilate give him his sentence. The Roman ritual of condemnation and execution was stated. Elam duche ad crucem placet. The sentence was this man should be hung on a cross. Then the judge would turn to the guard and say, I, Miles Expedi Crusum, go soldier and prepare the cross. Then Jesus was led away to be crucified via Dolorosa, the way of sorrows, which were the 14 stations that Jesus went through during his crucifixion. Jesus dies on a dogwood tree. He dies from asphyxiation, drowning in his own bodily fluids of blood and hydrogen to the second power, oxygen, water. He couldn't breathe. I, I, I want you to look at your neighbor, and I'm going to hit this quickly and move on. He couldn't breathe. He could not breathe. Uh, a few years ago, Eric Garner told police officers 11 times he couldn't breathe. All I'm trying to point out here is that 2,000 years ago, even to today, things like that still have a way of happening. On the cross, in order for Jesus to breathe, he had to force himself into a standing position. Lord have mercy. Catch your breath. Then his body was slumped back against a tree. Oh, Jesus. Could you imagine the pain he felt trying to stand up yeah. with, a nail, with a nail in his right wrist, a nail in his left wrist, a nail through his feet? Yeah. Help me, Holy Ghost. Planted thorns on his head. Yes, All the pain he was in, but just to breathe, he had to stand up Come on, take a breath. And this morning, it's some people that feel that way out there in the congregation and around the world globally. Yes, Lord. That they feel like they just can't take another breath. Oh, that they, they feel like they just can't take another day. Mm. But it's our prayer after this sermon yes, Lord. that you will believe that you have the power yes. to stand. Come on. And then not only to stand, but to take another breath. Because some people out there are going through some real trials and tribulations right now. Uh, some mothers trying to figure out, how am I going to feed my three and four children? Some fathers trying to figure out, how am I going to meet the mortgage and pay my car note? Ah, and they need help because right now they feel like they're going through a good Friday. And they feel like they're on a cross. But we as the church, we want to encourage them this morning that God will give you the strength to stand again and he will also give you the strength to take a breath. Come on. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. He died. When I grew up in the Baptist church, I used to love to hear the preacher preach on Sunday morning. Our pastor, O.B. Brown, would say, he died. Oh, but then he died. Yeah. He died. Yeah. And then he would hop by hop on one leg. Yeah. And like Chuck Berry. Huh. And I never understood what all that joy was about. Yeah. Till I got to about 18 years old. Yeah. And I went to Morning Star Baptist Church and heard Pastor L.D. Leonard preach. Yeah. And I found out in no moment sitting in the sanctuary huh. what that joy was all about. Right. And we ought to tell people, not only did he die, yeah. but he got up. Yes, he did. Amen. Yes, he did. 
The Jewish leaders, he dies. And they celebrate. They got maids playing. They got maids playing. Joy and pain. Like sunshine and rain. They happy. They party. They sing in Jill Scott's Golden Day. Yeah. They, they just believe that it's over. Yes, right. we, we, we ain't got to deal with this, this man pointing out our faults anymore. Come on. We, we can go back to having church as usual. Yeah. As a matter of fact, we, we was tired of this peasant day laborer Come on. always messing with us, always causing confusion. Yeah. Help me, Holy Ghost. And it's like when your enemy finally lets up off of you. Yeah. And they were so happy, they were like, oh, it's over. Huh. Everything's gonna return to normalcy, church as usual. Yeah. Ain't nobody gonna bother us. We ain't gotta really worry about the Roman governor, Pontius Pilate no more. We ain't gotta worry about Caesar shutting us down yeah. because there will be no, no uprising, no insurrection. We are so glad to be rid of this man Jesus. Yes, Hallelujah. Huh. It's the seventh round, it's the conclusion of it. And Ms. Earlene, they knocked him down, Jesus. but they have not knocked him out. Oh, yes, the fight is not over. The other day I was talking to Miss Jen, and she reminded me of Holy Saturday, the day after Friday. The day of Saturday had to be a quiet day. Surely Jesus' followers were hiding away and locked in in quarantine, yeah. much like we are. My God. Because it didn't look good on Saturday. Yeah. You, you know, you all you can do is think back on what happened the day before Good Friday. Yeah. And, and you can remember the sight you saw. Yeah. Him hanging on the tree. Yes, Lord. Him being snatched down off the cross. Yeah. Him being put in Joseph's borrowed tomb. Come on. Yeah. It didn't look good. It was all quiet. But I come by with a word. Come on. Just because it's quiet don't mean God ain't up to something. I wish I had help in him. Just because it doesn't look good don't mean it's over. Because we all understand and know that for 400 years there was no word from heaven. Malachi, after Malachi the prophet, the Bible, heaven shuts up and does not speak for another 400 years. But God wasn't through with humanity because in Matthew he comes with the birth of his son Jesus. And just because it's quiet right now, doesn't mean God is through with us. Just because it's hard right now, don't mean God is through with churches right now. We're just going through a season where he got us locked up and concentrating on nothing but him. Yeah. As a matter of fact, last night I was rejoicing in my heart. Because I hadn't seen, I hadn't seen Miss Angela, a new movie in a while. Everything you look at on TV is a rerun. Even all the sports is a rerun. But as I watched it last night, they put on the clock system. And the clock says it took me to church last night. Yeah. You want to look at your neighbor and say, you ain't nothing but a church boy. You ain't nothing but a church girl. And I know you felt good to hear them saying, is my living in vain? Come on. Can the clock be? I can't say. But y'all know what I mean. Yes. It felt good that the first movie that I see. The first movie I see in quarantine yeah. that is new is a documentary or a movie about the clock system. Come on, man. Lifetime took us there. And then after that, he took us to another new movie uh. that Tony Braxton was in. But, and what God is trying to say is, after this quarantine, yes. you're going to start putting me on highlight. Oh, yeah. After this quarantine, y'all yes, yes. going to start talking about me a little bit more. Yes. Because you're going to realize that I'm King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Right. That's right. That's this it. Saturday, it had to be quiet. Probably looked like all hope was lost. Miss right. Ram, Miss Glenda, it, it, it was quiet. Because you know, have you ever been to a place where you want to believe, but you're just having a hard time believing? You, you got some people right now just believe that 
things may not ever return to normalcy. But, but I need you to look at them eyeball to eyeball yes, and, and let them know God is still on the throne. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And, and even though it doesn't feel that good at times, but when I looked in the closet, just like you did, you found some clothes to wear. Yes. Even though the malls are shut down, you, you still had a surplus. Yes. Help me, Holy Ghost. I looked at Mr. Drake this morning, y'all. Mr. Drake is cleaner than the board of hell. <laughs> I've been here now almost nine, ten months, and I ain't never seen that outfit he got on. And, and in other words, Mr. Drake got a surplus. And, and, and when I walk in there, I didn't hear anybody's stomach, stomachs rumbling. That means that God is still feeding us. And then I looked around a few of in here. Everybody looks like they're healthy and wealthy and doing well in God. And ain't God still on the throne? Yes, he is. Thank you, Jesus. They were, they, they were worried. Because Jesus was knocked down. But not knocked out. Yes, right. And I don't know if you've ever been where I, I, I've been. Sometimes I put my trust in man. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. And, and when they got not down, they couldn't get back up. Right. But Jesus was able to get back up. The chief priests and Pharisees went to Pilate and they said, when that deceiver was alive, what did they talk about Jesus? He stated that he was going to die and in three days he was going to get up again. Pilate was like, what you want me to do? Well, we want you to set some security guards around the gravesite. Because we believe that the disciples are going to come and roll back the stone and steal his body and say he got up. Pilate said, seal it. Set your watch. Make it as sure as you can. Yes. To make sure that the disciples don't come and steal it. But early in the morning, huh. on the first day of the week, My God. Mary Magdalene yes. and the other Mary came to the gravesite. Yes, and there was a great earthquake. Jesus. For the angel of the Lord mm. came down from heaven come on, and rolled the stone away. Yes. And then set up on it. My God. That's good news, y'all. Yes, it is. And you may be wondering, why is that good news? It's good news because a person can only lock, a situation can only lock you and I in a grave place for, for a little while. Yes. We, we, can, we will only stay in a grave yard situation for such a time. Come on. Right? But then God will dispatch help from heaven. Oh, yeah. You do remember Ezekiel 37, <laughs> Mr. Earlene's favorite text. <laughs> The valley of dry bones. Yeah. And, and you remember God said, I, I'm going I'm to get you up out of the graves. Yeah. And I'm going to breathe into you. Yeah. And, and I'm going to put flesh back upon you. Yeah. In other words, God said, I don't care how bad it gets. Yeah. I have the power to resurrect you. Oh, yeah. And you ought to look at your neighbor eyeball to eyeball and say, neighbor, you ought to be shouting right now. I ought to be shouting because of Jesus, no matter what we go through, God is able to resurrect us again. You may have lost a job, but God can give you a better job. And can I preach it like I really feel it? A man could have walked out on you, but God got another one waiting just for you. I wish I had help in him. A woman could have said, I don't want you no more. But God got somebody sitting on the side, like Miss Stephen, took care of this stuff. If I had not believed yes. to see the goodness of the Lord yes. in the land of the living. Yes. He said, not talk about when I get to glory, yes. but believing on this side. Yes. I would have died, I would have fainted, I would have gave up, but I just don't believe God operates that way. All right, now you know, preach it, oh, no. preach it Pastor. The yes. man, when they saw the stone rolled away, Okay. Froze up. 
Yes. Not dead men. Jesus tells the young ladies, Mary and the other Mary. Yes. And Jesus couldn't help but be happy because when two Marys, Mary, Mary, joyful, joyful, Come on. happy, happy. Yes. You, you can't help but be happy yes. when two Marys come after you. Come on. Yes. The angel told him, fear not. All right. For I know you seek Jesus, uh -huh. which was crucified. What was? He is not here. Okay. Okay. For he is risen. Yes. We need to hear that again. Yes. He is not here. Yes, for he is risen. Yes. All right, now. Jesus won the fight. Okay. Los Vegas, Nevada went crazy. Yes. When he got up, that knocked the Jewish leaders out. Yes, the fight is over. Yes. <laughs> you have to do this. The fight is over. Yes. They didn't think he could get back up after the punishment they put upon him. Yes. And they didn't think he could get back up after all the lies they told on him. Yes. They didn't think he could make it another day. Yes. But after Saturday, yes. came Sunday. Yes. And on Sunday morning, yes. he got up out the grave. Yes. I want to tell you the fight yes. is over. Yes. But not only is the fight over for Jesus, yes. the fight is over for you and I. If we would just trust and believe. I wish I had help in here. If we would just trust and believe. Trust him when you can't trace him. Trust him when it don't make no sense. Trust God and watch him make a way. Waymaker. Miracle worker. Promise keeper. Light in the darkness. That is who he is. God is a waymaker. Bridge over troubled water. Man regulator. Heart fixer. What's his name? Jesus. Eighth round. He wins the eighth round. Technical knockout. Bring me to my first point. You saw the pain. Why well, fit it in this morning, y'all? Alright, bring me to my first point. You saw the pain. Yeah. Yeah. Last time we saw Jesus, he looked real bad at the scourging. Yeah. He looked real bad at his angel on the cross. <laughs> he looked real bad going to the Joseph's borrowed tomb. Yeah. It looked like all hope was lost. Yes, looked as though there was no bouncing back. Yeah. No man had ever been convicted and become a felon and then died and got his own self back up. Yeah. But that's bringing me to my second point. Yeah. My second point is, you see the power. Yeah. Uh, my point two is, you see the power. Yeah. Verse 18 says this, and Jesus tells his disciples, uh -huh. all power yeah. is given unto me yeah. in heaven and in earth. Oh, yeah. At Lazarus' grave, yeah. people roll back the stone. Yeah. But at Jesus' grave, Heaven stepped in and rolled back the stone. He said, I got all power. Before he died, he had limited power. And Jesus was something else with limited power. Don't you remember? He raised Jairus' daughter. He stopped the funeral procession and raised the widow's son. He said, 5,000 men, not including women and children, with two little minnows and five little biscuits. Did all that, yes. but now he has all power. Yes. Power in heaven, he has it all. Yes. Power on earth, he has it all. Yes. And at the name of Jesus, uh. demons will tremble. Yes. Help us, Holy Ghost. Yes. At his name, every knee will bow, yes. and every tongue shall confess. Yes. Jesus is Lord. Yes. Let me say it to you in the Greek Jesus is Kyrios, yes. he has the power. Remember Daryl Coley uh -huh. told us when Sunday comes, yes, shout my troubles over. Yes. For every Good Friday yes. experience, there's a resurrection Sunday. Yes. For every Good Friday in our lives, yes. there's a resurrection Sunday. Yes. Sometimes you just gotta wait on it. Yes. Those that wait upon the Lord yes. shall renew their strength. Yes. They shall mount up like wings on the eagle. 
Bless you. 